In this video, we're going to look at whether NaNO3 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. So this is sodium nitrate. To do that, we have some rules here, but the first thing we need is the equation that gives us the sodium nitrate here. So we look at the neutralization reaction that produces the sodium nitrate. In this case, we have sodium hydroxide and nitric acid. It gives us the sodium nitrate and water. Neutralization reaction. We need to figure out the strength of these two reactants here. So we could memorize this table here. That'll make it a lot easier. So I do recommend you memorize this. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, we look, it's right here. It's a strong base. Let's write SB, strong base. Nitric acid, HNO3, that's right there. That's a strong acid. So we'll write SA above that for a strong acid. Now we can use the rules to figure out the pH when we put this NaNO3 in water, when we dissolve this in water. So back to our rules here, and we can see that if we have a strong base and a strong acid, we have our strong base and strong acid, pH is neutral, it's seven. So we have our strong base and our strong acid, those react in a neutralization reaction, they give us our sodium nitrate. And because of that strong acid, strong base, we get a pH at seven, which is neutral, when we have NaNO3 dissolved in water. This is Dr. B answering the question of when we put NaNO3 in water, do we get an acid, base, or neutral solution? Thanks for watching.